Hi, this is Yedney from Vire360. I want to tell you a little bit about spatial sound and how it works on Vire360. So it doesn't work in a typical way where you would take a spatial microphone and then record the sounds and you would be able to just import it media files. It actually works through a system of hotspots that start to play when the viewer interacts with them. This way you're able to place different sound files all over the 360 scene and once they're being interacted with they start to play. So for this example let's say there's a bee hiding within these flowers. When the viewer will look at the flowers the audio will start to play and it will give the viewer a sign that there's a bee hiding within its leaves. So I'll double click here, I'll choose create spatial audio point, I'll make a polygon hotspot this time and I'll choose yellow, make it semi transparent and I'll begin the creation of the polygon hotspot. So I'll mark the entire edge of the flowers like this to get a nice even match. I'll save it. It's going to turn yellow uh, as soon as I click next and after I save everything. Here I can upload my audio files. I can name it but there's no point right now because I don't want it to be named and I'll choose a sound that I already preloaded before and this is a sound of a bee so what I'm trying to set up here is that when somebody looks at this area here they will trigger this hotspot and this hotspot is gonna start playing this sound I'll click apply now you can see how it turned yellow I'll go now to view mode. Now let's say somebody clicks on it or gazes at it in VR mode. That's basically what they hear. And if you would be wearing headphones, you would hear that the sound is coming directly in front of you. And if you would be turned more to the left, you would hear it more from the right. So it basically adapts to the direction that you're viewing it from. That's how the spatial hotspot system works within VAR360. You can imagine having lots of these areas here that can be even fully transparent so you don't even see that uh, there's something there and it's a nice clean tool to basically add extra information, add narration for specific objects or maybe just add something to guide the viewer through the experience. And that's about it. Thanks.